Hello everyone and welcome to Gamers Conclave. This is episode 2 of our Battleborns build and it will feature Whiskey Foxtrot. First off, we just want to say that we were unhappy with the fact that our first video was 47 minutes. We definitely wanted to find a way to shrink that and we feel like we came up with a good solution. We also want to be a little bit different than just showing you the character select screen and then following that up with the helix screen and then the gear screen and then go to show gameplay. We want to try to show the two simultaneously. In this particular video, it doesn't come across quite the way that we originally intended. Um, we're doing some more practicing with the next video, and we feel like we got it right so far. Um, this video, it's going to um, jump to the corner, to your left-hand corner, the screen you're looking at now, and then we're going to see uh, the live gameplay for each, each Helix. We feel like that was going to be our best way to show you everything the character has to offer while at the same time mentioning which skills you know actually covering the build so this is going to be our killer versatility build whiskey foxtrot is a very versatile character you can see on the right his abilities there we're not going to go over one of them which skill one is sticky bomb very straightforward attaches to an enemy and or any surface detonates after three seconds Scrap Cannon, it's a shotgun blast essentially. It will activate on button push and then his ultimate overdrive. Overdrive turns his burst fire rifle into a fully automatic rifle with 75 bullets. It will chew up and spit out any tank you come across. And then Whiskey's passive. Combat Rhythm, very, very useful. Increase your damage for 25 by 25% for 10 seconds after every kill. So you're definitely going to want to keep that proc'd. All right, so let's jump into the Helix. This is where we were talking about. We would show it split. We would show you how each Helix choice affects the skill at what level. And at the same time, I'll cover the build. It's going to be better in the future videos. I do apologize for this one. Hopefully, you can just bear with me. But as I'm talking about the build, just enjoy watching. You can see what every Helix does. And from there, you can make your own decisions about how you want to build Whiskey, or you can go with the build we suggest. At level 1, you're going to take Wade down. The 3 second slow is very useful. It's more useful than the pushback uh, from flak off, and it's definitely more useful than the extra uh, shield damage. At level 2, you're going to take Swiss Cheese. Now, this is very important because at level 2, when enemies get hit by your scrap cannon, they will take an additional 25% damage for 8 seconds from Whiskey's rifle. So, if you can kill a minion and then tag an enemy with the scrap cannon at level 2, you're going to deal 50% more damage from your rifle for 8 seconds. That's that's pretty awesome. That's very, very useful. So you're going to keep that ability proc'd. Level 3 is totally optional. It's very up to your own preference. The red dot sight, which you can move around faster while scoped, or scoped up, give you a scope and have some more accuracy for, for maybe turning whiskey into a little bit of a sniper. I recommend taking red dot sight, but it's totally up to you. At level four, level four is very interesting. If you're really good at landing the grenade, go with stick and sap. The extra damage you're gonna get for it is definitely useful. However, for this particular build and the versatility build, you're gonna be able to do a little bit of everything. You'll be able to take on enemies. You're gonna be an opportunistic assassin and harasser. You're also gonna have a little bit of wave clear. So for that reason, you're gonna to wanna to take triple threat. You can take the sticky merv uh, they do the same damage. I find triple threats easier to land as it will launch the three grenades one right after the other. At level five, you're, and I need to mention now, with Whiskey Foxtrot, you have to have all of his mutations unlocked. I, we recommend this for every character we're going to show you, but you definitely want to have that because... You familiarize yourself with the character. I mean, if you go through and you get all their mutations, you know everything the character has to offer. You'll be able to understand more about that particular character you're wanting to play. And to really maximize Whiskey and his potential, you need all those mutations. At level 5, we're going to take Kill a Regen. The other two don't even matter. They're totally useless in comparison to Kill a Regen. Killing an enemy is going to give you 220 health regeneration over 10 seconds. So with Whiskey, it's going to be all about just constantly firing on minions, 
firing grenades at them, keeping them dead so you can keep that killer region procced when you go to engage your enemies. You'll engage with scrap cannon, they'll take more damage, and you'll just pop critical after critical after critical. At level 6, this is what I said you need is uh, mutations, you're going to take napalm. You're going to get each bomb is going to do 360 damage, area damage for uh, up to 360 damage over 4 seconds. Sorry I messed that up there. So each three grenades you launch, each one's going to have a small little AoE of napalm, like very much like Oscar Mike. At level seven, you want to take duct tape mags because with this build, it's going to all it's going to be all about tagging enemies with scrap cannons, so you can proc Swiss cheese, and you're going to want to be able to fire more bullets at them faster. So you're definitely going to pick up the 60% reload speed on every other reload. At level 8, this one again is kind of a preference. Um, we recommend taking the 30% range increase, the long distance flak. It's up to you. Level 9, again, this one's kind of personal preference. Um, I find that the increased damage is better. So for this build, we're going to recommend stronger stickies. At level 10, you're going to take what shields? And you're about to see that skill right now. It is awesome. If you're facing a Cleese, go with wet shields. Just absolutely ruin his life. And then, the, I mean, adding the 25 extra bullets is totally unnecessary. Wet shields is the best way to go. It'll also penetrate over shields. Alright guys, so that was the build and that was going to be the new format. We, like I said, it's going to be better in our next video. Uh, didn't cover gear for Whiskey, you want to use his legendary. And then you want to stack critical hit damage and attack speed. His legendary will, it's a legendary reload mag. It's going to give you, if you keep firing the trigger, you're going to get like 15% more uh fire rate and reload speed and it already gives reload speed at the base at the base skill so definitely go with whiskey's ultimate and then the rest is really up to you i recommend taking an attack speed gear and taking some uh maybe some attack damage or critical hit damage all right uh pros and cons of this build pros are going to be kind of the jack of all trades master of none you're not necessarily going to be the strongest out there, but you're going to be able to do a little bit of everything. Cons, you're the jack of all trades and the master of none. You can definitely find yourself in sticky situations. Um, you don't want to engage too far with whiskey. You want to kind of keep your distance, keep your bay, land your criticals, and keep your combat rhythm procced along with your other kill skills procced. All right, guys, this one's going to be clocking in at around eight minutes and some change. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave us some feedback in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Like this, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Please subscribe. We have more content coming on the way. I promise this new format's going to get even better with the next episode. If you guys have any suggestions of characters you want to see us do, please let us know. We're very open to it. And from Gamers Conclave, thank you for watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Gamers Conclave.